Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. 2015's Battlefield Hardline has had its fair share of detractors, and I often hear phrases like, it feels like a Battlefield 4 DLC, or Cops and Robbers isn't Battlefield. But looking back at the game, I think a lot of people don't give the game enough credit. It's one of my favorite Battlefield games, and here are five reasons why. It's way better than you remember. Number five, the game's melee system. Battlefield Hardline had perhaps the most robust melee system of any Battlefield game. Melee kills weren't just variations of takedown animations. Choosing a blunt weapon lets you perform a non-lethal takedown, meaning you could interrogate your victim and reveal the location of enemies on the minimap. This made sneaking up on your enemy a higher risk versus reward scenario. Hardline also had a non-lethal sidearm in the form of the taser, which also allowed for interrogations. Where are they? Number four, the game's vehicles. Without tanks and airplanes, many players felt Battlefield Hardline was definitely lacking with its vehicles. However, the vehicular gameplay in Hardline was some of the fastest in the franchise, and that's something I think we could use a little bit more of. I also loved hopping into a car and blasting Jeep stuff on the radio, which brought back memories of Battlefield Bad Company 2's Vietnam DLC. Number three is the gun bench. Now, I love Battlefield 1, but it's made me realize how much I miss being able to customize every aspect of my weapon down to the nitty-gritty details. Battlefield Hardline's gun bench let players personalize their favorite weapons and truly make them their own. As a bonus, we also got a firing range to test out new guns we unlocked by playing the game. The gun bench was included with Hardline's Betrayal DLC. Number 2. The Grappling Hook Battlefield Hardline is one of my favorite Battlefield games because it really discourages snipers who don't play the objective. The grappling hook plays a big role in that because it lets players scale buildings in unconventional places. This makes it easier to boot out those campers and to flank enemies. It also added more verticality to combat, which I've missed in Battlefield 1. And finally, at number one, is grabbing medkits and ammo. This development ranks as perhaps one of the best innovations in the Battlefield franchise. Being able to run up to a friendly operator or enforcer and grab a medkit or ammo from them instantly removes one of the most frustrating aspects of the Battlefield games, players who don't understand their roles. You don't have to stand there requesting what you need and meleeing your teammate to try and get their attention. You need ammo or health? Well, just take it. It's that simple, and it's a mechanic I would love to see return in the next Battlefield game. All of these aspects of Battlefield Hardline are key reasons why I love the game. Hardline really tried to bring a lot of innovation to the franchise, from setting to mechanics, and for some people, perhaps that was a bit too much. It's one of the most unfairly criticized video games of its generation, and I think it deserves a second look. If you're still on the fence, I'll throw in a bonus reason. You could tag any wall in the game with your emblem. It was just a neat touch to leave your personal mark on the map. What are your thoughts on Battlefield Hardline? Did you enjoy it? Why or why not? Tell me in the comments. Before you go, leave a like and subscribe. Tap the bell button to get notified of the latest Battlefield videos. And if you want to help out the channel, sharing this video on Facebook and Twitter really goes a long way. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.